Hello and welcome to Altia Suite. Today I'm going to show you how we can create a new business location in your account. To get started, we're going to go to our left hand menu over here. We're going to go into our locations module and then into business location. To create a new business location, all we got to simply do is hit this new button at the top. This will open up a new business location screen and then we're going to go ahead and fill out all this information. So this is going to be called Altia Appliance. Now for its prefix, I just want to say keep this simple and keep this double A for Altia Appliance. This prefix field will be used on the documents that we create from this business location, such as quotations, sales invoices, purchases, etc. Now we're going to go ahead and give a start number. So this can be from whatever invoice that you last left off at. Maybe I had a different business location elsewhere, and last invoice that I had was invoice number 900. I can start there, but for this example, I'm just going to start with four zeros and a one. The next field over here, it's an optional field. We have these mandatory fields that have the red asterisk, so we need to have a prefix, and we need a start number, and we need a business location name. Now for the phone number, the phone number will just display underneath of this business location information. So I'm going to go ahead and give you my... So now I'm gonna go ahead. <clears throat> so now I'm gonna go ahead and give my phone number for my business location. Next field over here is our email field. So maybe I'll put down my appliance at Altia Suite account. This is my email address I want customers to address me from. And then for the e the street address, we just give this, you know, our address information. Maybe this is in Redmond. I'll put my zip code. And then maybe I also want to put a time zone. So I'm in the Pacific time zone. Then maybe I'll put, maybe I'll put the county as well. So there's all my address information. And this will also get displayed underneath of this business location information. Last thing I want to do is associate a tax structure to my business location. So I'm going to go ahead and give me my sales tax right there. Now, anytime I create a new invoice or a quotation from this business location, it's going to tack on at this eight and a quarter percent. Last thing that we're going to do is just to verify that all the information is correct. Once that is good, we're going to go all the way down to the bottom and hit this create button. Once we do that, we get a brand new location that gets created. Now, to show you the difference between these, I'm going to go into a quotation. So you can see this document number right here. It's from my other location. So if I do a new quotation, so I'm going to switch it over to my Altia appliance location. This will change. You can see that prefix right there. And we're starting at my prefix number, my last sequence right there. So 0001 is my first quotation for this business location. So that's the difference between the prefix and your sequence number when it comes to the documents. So this is true for the quotations. This will go on into your sales invoices and your purchases and et cetera like that. So that's how to create a new business location in Altia Suite. Thank you.